It's fantastic to see so many of you. It's also super, super exciting. This um, presentation actually is not going to take very long. Okay. The idea behind it is simply to reveal to you, reveal to you the facts of um, of what's what's happening, and um, and what I mean by that is that um, there are really exciting things that are happening in the in the world of um, crypto that people don't know about. And, if, and um, in this is actually short presentation, what I wanna do is I just wanna cover the facts. Um, if someone has referred this uh, webinar to you, hopefully, you'll, they'll, hopefully I'll be able to explain what's happening in a, in a much simpler way. At the end of that, I'll open up, um, I'll open up the, the seminar for questions. Um, but as I said, I, I really want to go through this pretty quickly because the facts of the market uh, of the market is that that you know that there are some key things that you need to understand. And if those things resonate with you, if you understand what I'm talking about, you'll understand that it's really um, you you really need to get involved in the space, which you can do. And I'll explain to you how how to do that. It should be relatively simple for you to get involved um, in in this space. So, okay, let let me let me go through and explain to you why you need to buy crypto now. Okay, the key thing to understand is that this is just an educational presentation. All right, if you want to know more of it, you know, don't take it as an investment advice. Just take it as education for you to be able to get involved. Um, for me, um, I have um, I've been involved in new markets for over thirty years. I'm a specialist in new financial opportunities. My books have sold more than two million copies in twenty languages. I've been involved um, in advising many companies across the world. I've listed two companies in London. And the point is, is that I've been in the space for about uh, three, four years, four years now. And um, if I'm good at one thing, I'm good at really analyzing how markets will develop, which is why as a futurist, my books have sold um, so well across the world. The key thing to understand is that timing is everything, okay? So, you know, there's lots of situations where people are really excited about industries, but they're, they're either too early when the, when the market is very, very unstable. And lots of people have found that in crypto. They joined, oh, well, I joined four years ago, which sounds cool, but they're not really involved now. And the reality is, is that they couldn't wear the fluctuations that are very normal in a very new industry. Or you say, hey, look, you hear them, they, oh, I love this industry, it's so cool, but you see they're doing the grind. They're not really making any money because the industry is so established that the opportunities to really get the, the major rewards out of it aren't there. And it's very much around this concept of I need to be in the right place at the right time. Does everyone understand what I'm talking about? You know, raise your hand, give us a wave. Does everyone understand what you're talking about? Certainly, if you're listening, you understand that you've got to get that right. So the first thing is to really understand whether it's the right place. And when people talk about crypto, they don't really understand it. Um, or they try and understand too much about it. It's just a technology that solves problems. And the, the first problems that people know about is this idea of cryptocurrency. And they look at a pound and they go, why do we need another currency? You know, I can use my currency to buy coffee. I can use it to do things. And they don't understand that currencies are much bigger than that. You know, you know, the reality is sending money overseas is expensive and it's slow. So that's one huge opportunity for a cryptocurrency because that, that you can do it fast, cheap, anywhere in the world. You can send any amount of money anywhere in the world instantly, okay? So that's a fantastic opportunity and a massive saving to people. Also, you know, the world doesn't like to do global trade in US dollars, so they want a different currency to be able to use. Also, um, when things are challenging, people want to put money in what they call a safe haven. They traditionally use gold, but that's a hassle. There are real issues with physical gold, so they want a digital gold. Again, that's a great use case and a massive multi-trillion use case for crypto. Also, it can be used to create 
a much simpler, easier legal contracts, whether it's wills, whether it's banking documents, whether it's property documents, um, all of those are much better in a, this, using this crypto technology. It doesn't have to be a currency. It can be actually a digital asset that you can actually use to create. It's, it's going to be used for communities, for companies. So if you can imagine the British Airways points going from a points to a crypto points because it's much easier to, to, to use. If you can imagine, do you know Manchester United has more supporters in Malaysia than in the UK? But the reality is that you, it's, it's very hard for Manchester United to capture all of those global um, supporters into one community. It's hard for them to grow their community and, and therefore crypto can be used as a technology to allow that to happen, okay? The other thing as far as company, sorry, there's a bit of noise around the place. Um, so the other thing is that cities, so they say the city of Hull has a uh, technology. And, and also just going back on that sports thing, you need to understand, people go, oh, well, that's a good idea. But you need to understand that Juventus, that's, that's um, Italy's number one sporting team. Um, Paris Saint-Germain, which is France's number one sporting team, West Ham, have already agreed that they're launching their own cryptos, okay? It can also be used to help fund innovation through a new form of tokenized crowdfunding and also to get ac ac access to new investments. And what I mean by that is that, um, to be able to, can you hear that? It's quite noisy for me, no? Okay, there's nothing I can really do, it's, it's been done outside. So, so long as you can't hear it too loud, that, that'll be great. The point is, is that what I want you to understand is that tech, crypto as a technology is now emerging as a very useful form of technology, especially around the world of creating communities, creating new currencies, especially in the world of finance. And that's why when we look at the potential of this technology, you can, you can actually value it in, in many, many multiples of trillions of dollars. And when you imagine today it's about, the market is worth globally about $280 billion. Um, the potential here is literally to grow anywhere between you know, 20, 30, 50 times where it is. The question is when, and that's the real point that I want you guys to understand. When will this happen? When is it the right time to join? And the, the way you look at this is you've got to think what's called strategically, and, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand that, you know, when you look at how these coins trade, if you know anything about assets, there's a way in which they do that. And, and this graph here is the way the whole total market for crypto worldwide has traded since early 2017, okay? And when we look at that, what you need to know is that it went high in, the, in 2017. That was the big Bitcoin boom. And then what happened is it declined in 2018. In 2019, it actually went up and then down. <laughs> but the critical thing, if you know anything about trading, you would know that when that you get a decline, if that bottom of that decline is higher than the previous low, you create what's called a higher low. And what that does is it's a very important signal to the marketplace that the market will probably go up. And that's why you can see at the end of that graph, you can see that it's gone up. Does everyone see that? So you look at the flow of the marketplace and you can see it goes up. Goes up. I, I think it's better, you know, to understand that if, you know, that, that as I said, the, 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 if you look at the big picture, the traders drive the market and this higher low means there's going to be an upward trend. So if you, let's look at this in details. If you look at last year, looking into this year, okay? If you look at that, you see that in the first quarter, the first three months of last year, the market worldwide was flat, okay? 
In reality, a major coin, which is called Litecoin, actually went up 100%. And that's important because that was the precursor to what was in the second quarter of last year. So from April to June, end of start of July last year, the market boomed by 300%. Now, do you know any other asset class like property or shares or anything like that that grew by 300% in three months? It's, it's what you need to understand about this thing is that when it goes, it really goes, okay? It really goes. So if you then look at what happened at the end of last year, so the last six months of last year, the market just traded down, okay? We had a, we, the market just kept trading down, all right? And because of that, what happened is that, is that it hit a point whereby, um, whereby the, the market, that people were saying, hey, at the end of the last year, is it gonna go up? Is it gonna do, go down? Will it break this channel? Well, at the start of the year, it broke the channel, okay? And that's why so far this year, it's gone up by 40%. It broke it. And therefore, the indicators say that the market is going to have a great year this year. And that's the key thing. You just need to know it's going to have a great year this year. And the, the key thing is the fundamentals that are going to drive it. It's not going to be just the traders. The big thing is the big financial institutions are, going to, uh, are now in. And they're coming in because... The, the big financial institutions have the financial platforms for them to be able to do it. So the big boys, the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchanges, this new, the owner of the New York Stock Exchange has launched a crypto platform. The biggest um, multi-trillion dollar brokerages are bringing in their big financial clients, Fidelity, Amitrade, E-Trade, German, both German stock exchange, the, Jap the Singapore Stock Exchange, the biggest... Um, Japanese bank are all in crypto now. So don't ask whether, oh, is it credible? Is it going to happen? The only reason you're going to say that is because you don't know what's happening to the marketplace. Because the financial people know that this is big because the big boys are already involved. And also the governments are involved. So you're talking about you're talking about what are called central bank digital currencies, CBDC. So the big talk this year has been that the, that the Chinese are launching their digital currency with Alibaba and big banks uh, this quarter, but also they've done research, the Bank of International Settlements, which is the sort of coordinator of all the central banks around the world, their research has just said that 70% of the central banks in the world are exploring launching a crypto currency because it's a better form of digital currency. Not the little guys, we're talking China, Japan, the UK, Singapore, Canada, France, Australia, India, the big guys are turning their currencies into crypto. Why? Because it's a better form of currency, digital currency. It's just a better form of operating. And it's not, and as far as actual people using it, when you say, oh, people aren't using it, whether it's gonna happen because Starbucks is about to launch it, Amazon's taking it, Burger King, Microsoft, Vodafone. Rakuten is the equivalent of Amazon. It's one of the biggest digital businesses in the world. Expedia, Juventus, they're all, they're all launching crypto, okay? And that's why when we look at crypto, we've seen this first wave and this second wave. The second crypto wave is happening now. And it's not a matter. I'm not asking you whether it's happening. It's already happened. And you just have to decide whether you want to get ahead of that. And the key thing is that to do that, you don't need to be to buy all some, you know, crappy coin that's, you know, that some guy has launched. The, the reality is the blue chip coins, the biggest coins in the world are basically 97% of the total market. Okay. That's very unusual you know, the share market isn't like that. The biggest, you know, the biggest shares are like 1%. But these guys are, are dominant. And so you shouldn't, people say, oh, well, I'm going to buy Bitcoin. Don't do that. That's not the smart way to do it. The smart way is always to do a portfolio. And the reality is those big companies, okay, are buying three coins. And they are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Okay? So you don't have to think about, you don't have to choose. You can just say, okay, I need to buy a portfolio 
okay, which coins? Well, I'll buy the ones the big boys are buying. Does everyone understand that? Okay, it's not rocket science. The great thing about this is it isn't hard. You can just buy this, you can buy it simply. If you look at the last time there was a boom, what happened was that actually that portfolio outperformed, outperformed the uh, Bitcoin by over 100%, okay? And, 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 and therefore, it's, it's the time to operate. So if you're going to do this, which look, if you don't buy into crypto now, you are literally crazy. The key thing is you just buy a portfolio, you buy from a platform which has an A plus, um, has an A plus security rating to make sure that where you're buying is a very smart, secure place and uh, Daxi people can show you how to do that. Um, for us at Daxi, that's all we do. All we do is help the public buy. And, and, and we know that people are a little bit nervous. So we have a system where all you have to do is decide how much money you put in and our system will allocate it in the right amounts um, to ensure that you have that portfolio that's the smart thing to do. And the reality is I love these results because look, those results are basically what's happened to the marketplace from the start of last year until this year, okay? And what you can see is that crypto is the, has been the boom market, okay? Look at how much these assets have grown. And when you look at a bundle, that which, which for us says there's a Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Daxi's coin, the DAC coin, when you look at that, you see that whilst Bitcoin delivered 169% growth, the bundle, the Daxi bundle, which is the portfolio, delivered 30% better. Not only that, if you just bought DAC coins, you would actually perform 224% better than just buying Bitcoin and 131% better than just buying a bundle. It's really, really simple when you look at this. And the, and the reason why the Brits are going to come into this market is really simple. When you look at the cash sitting on deposit, everyone knows that you're not earning anything, okay? So you, the average bank deposit is maybe, interest rate is maybe 1%, 1.2%, okay? But it's not very much and it's not going up. And when you look at inflation, so we've been tracking inflation, inflation is tracking along at about 2%. So when you imagine you're paying tax on that 1.2%, if you keep the money in the bank, you're, you're basically losing money. And as, as Ben there um, shared with me, that the front page of the mail was saying, hey, look, you know, why am I keeping my money in the bank? What's the point? And the reality is that what we're saying is just simply switch some cash into crypto. It's the smart thing to do. We're not saying do it all of it or anything like that. We're just saying, as far as the strategy that people are taking and that people should take is that you should do that. And reality, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Why, why are people putting money into crypto? Because the, it solves major problems. It has huge potential. Why are people doing it now? It's because the fundamentals the, are, are all showing that that is the smart thing to do. Okay. That is the smart thing to do. So look, I really am keen to just look, if, you, if anyone has any questions, that would be great. Um, my message to you is simply this, is that now is the time. Now is the time for you to switch cash to crypto. It's simple to do. As, you know, I, I created a company. I created a company we're launching in the UK right now based on helping people like you get into this marketplace. And you can do it so simply because, because it's, we do all the hard work to work for you. We have the highest security rating. We have the best um, customer service. And, and the fact is, is that it's, it's just a very simple thing to do. Sorry, Nikki, yes. So Ed, how long do I need to put money in for? Well, how, how long do I need to put? Uh, look, that's a question. The reality is, is that no one knows um, when the sort of really strong move, hyperbolic move is going to happen in this marketplace. It may happen in the next three months. It may happen in a year or two. The, the, all the trends are showing that that's going to happen soon. 
but um, you know, I, I think it's going to happen. Yeah, it's it's so always take a one year view. All right, one year view, which is really nothing, but it's like, you know, uh, this market moves so quickly. And how high right. do you think it? What's that? How high do you think it'll go? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Look, the, the potential of the market is for trillions. Currently, it's in hundreds of billions, and the potential of market is trillions. So I think that's where it's going to go. Cool. What about, All right, guys. Um, just one more question. The world is sort of going through a bit of an economic crisis right now. How's that going to affect crypto? How's that going oh, to affect the bundle? It's great for crypto. Because crypto is a limited supply, it acts like gold. And so the world is in trouble because of the financial markets and this is the disruptor for the financial markets. So it's great for us. You know, it's very, very positive for us. So guys, look, you know, so long as there's no other questions, I just want to thank everyone. Um, it's a, uh, you know, it's a very exciting time. If you looked at this or someone recommended that you watch this, get back to the person who did that. Um, this is a time that you really, really need to take action. It's easy for you to get involved. It's, it's fast for you to get involved. So I thank you all for your time. Rock and roll. See you later.